today using a brand new subscription box number 38, all about the pop-out scenes, we are going to be creating this super cool car that we can see here. Now we've got the birthday theme, we've got the aperture with the balloons, the celebration. Now, how do we make it? Really, really simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to come along and use in the five by seven card blanks that you get included within the box. What I have already done is folded it in half with the score line comes included. Then halfway, what I have done is I have scored at two and a half inches I've turned it around and scored it two and a half inches once again. What we can do is fold it back on itself and then fold it back on itself here. Then what we can then do is come along with our die, because as we can see from up above, we've got that either the W or the M, whichever way you're looking at it. We're going to come in with the die, then securing it with our low tack tape. And I'm going to go in as close to the middle as possible we can then secure it to the top and the bottom. Now, because of the size, it's five by seven. I'm going to use my large Gemini, but with my junior plates. So we can feed this one up and I'm going to secure it with my hands going through. Then what we are going to do is a little bit of coloring. I've already done the coloring. So what we will do is we'll show you what it looks like and I'll tell you the colors that I've used. So if I remove this one out the way now, we can see by the aperture within the middle, here is our pop-out scene with the celebration. Now what I have done beforehand is using my tri-blends, I have colored mine that looks like this one. I have used citrus blend for the swirls and the cake. I have used earth brown blend for the hair and also the cake. I've then come along with True Blue Blend. I've used that for the jumper, the candles, and the top of the present. We have used the Citrus Green Blend, and that is for the other edge of the swirl and the top hat. Then to finish off, I've used the Fair Skin Blend, and that of course is for the face and for the arm. At this point, what we can do is come along with some thread, and I'm going to turn it over, and on the top and the bottom, we're going to come in with our tape runner. Now, completely over the seam, I'm going to add my adhesive, and what I'm going to do is add the adhesive all the way up from the bottom aperture of the circle to the top of the cake, and we're going to come in with the thread. Now, I'm going to go right down the center that we can see here. I'm going to press with two fingers, then what I'm going to do is secure it even more. I'm going to roll it back and forwards on itself. Any little bits we can trim away. So we can then fold it back to secure it. Any loose bits, chop away. And we've now got our thread nice and secure within the middle. Before I pop this onto my card blank, what I'm going to do is I take my balloon stamp and the die that you get included. Using the stamps and the die, we have created the balloons. Now to color them in, what I've done is I have used the True Blue Blend, I've used the Citrus Blend, and then I have also used the Citrus Green Blend. So now what we then do is come along on both of the balloons, I'm going to add my adhesive. So I'm popping it into the center of the balloon, not onto the string of the balloon. And then what we can do is by one of them, I'm going to lay it flat upside down. I'm going to come along and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press that down and then use my fingers to secure it. That picks it up. You can see how it starts to turn already. But to secure that even more, we're going to come straight over the top with the additional balloon and we're going to press. That then creates the balloon. Look at that, so, so cute. So now we can assemble the card and finish it off. Another one of the five by seven card blanks. I'm coming in with a piece of the patterned paper. This one is four by seven, and I'm going to add my adhesive. So we're going to hold and pull. We can then take that off, bring back in our card blank, and at this fold, what we're going to do is secure that up to the fold line of the card blank. We're going to hold, 
fold the card, and as we open it up, we're going to be left with a strip into the middle. Now we can then assemble it. Bringing back in your aperture, we can then come along and we can add our adhesive on the two panels. We can then add the adhesive onto the additional two panels. We can then bring our card blank in, secure the left-hand side. I'm going to turn it around and we can secure what will be the left-hand side once again, once turned around. We've then got our worker, we've got the pop out. We're gonna finish it off by coming in with two strips from that center cardstock. And what I've done with this one is by bringing in my tape runner, letting you know that it is half an inch by eight inch. We're gonna add our strip, one little bit to the side of the strip, another bit to the other side. This is going to create that finished off border and what it's going to do is break up the white layer. So we're going to go to the top. I'm going to secure this next side. We're going to turn it around. Now, either using your large scissors or your small scissors, we're going to snip away the excess paper. This ensures you to get the right length of cardstock. All that's left to do is add two sentiments, have the happiest of birthday, we're going to come in with our tape and we're going to then bring this one to the side. Time to celebrate. We're going to come this one to the top left hand side. We're going to press that into place. We've then got a little bit of decoration with the balloons, three balloons also using our tape runner. So I'm going to do one here, we're going to do a second one here, opposite directions, and then the third one, we're going to come in and we're going to pop that so it's above our sentiment. Last layer using our tape as well as our pattern paper. I've layered these up, all included from the craft kit, and we're going to go in with my tape. What I've done when it comes to this size here, I've cut it already into four by six. We can set that one on the top, pressing that one in, and then using the bow, this is the ribbon that comes included. I'm going to add our tape runner to the top left. We're going to secure that in by pressing, and then there we go. We've got our pop-out card with the twirly balloons within the middle. And that is what you can be making from our brand new subscription box number 38, all about our pop-out scenes.